guys, how are you doing? Hello everyone, my name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Rezo Season 2 Part 2 Episode 9. Like things are finally moving again. Elsa is back, but now things have changed. Subaru and the others have arrived on time at the mansion. So I feel like this episode is gonna have a lot more action and I'm curious to see how everything is gonna go. Are they finally able to change things? And move forward. Let's just find out. So without further ado, let's ride into the episode. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, go. Okay, we're starting just right off with the action. Garfield against Elsa. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Now he has a shield even, even though it's like a part of the wall. <laughs> yeah, her little brother is so dependable. Let's go. <gasps> he picked her by her her a skull pigtail. Damn. Ooh. She's still enjoying it. Like there's nothing that faces her. She's still as calm as ever. Bowel hunter. We know. Gran hears. It might be the first time I've ever heard her last name. And Tinsel. No, I, I have a feeling I've heard Tinsel before. Let's go. That sounds exciting. Yeah. I mean, she was hired by Roswell, so yeah. It just blank. Now she's questioning her own agency. Like, I've always done what other people expected from me. What have I ever done out of my own will?
Yeah. Now all these these backstories, these flashbacks, start to make a bit more sense when it comes to Betty's feelings, you know. <laughs> You're an idiot, Baka. Four hundred years, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, that happened too. You are that person, yeah. We're back to this question. We're back to this question. We've had this conversation before. <gasps> and he's just thrown outside. She's gone again. My beast, yeah. Oh. What's that stone again? I sort of forgot. <laughs> the way she's carrying Otto and she has Ram also. <laughs> it's alright, you're alive, it's better than being dead. Bees. It's a giant hippo. Hey, that sounds like melee. Still one of the biggest plot twists in this whole show. That one tiny girl turns out to be the, the beast tamer. This conversation. 
<laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I tried playing the friend card. She's prepared to live. Okay, because she got reunited, yeah. The music is starting to pick up as well. That hippo looks evil. <laughs> Rock piggy? Is it a pig? I thought it was a hippo. <laughs> Let's go. So we have Garfield against Elsa and Frederica against Melee. What's happening? Oh, I thought it was the hippo they were talking about, but there's another one. Is it the same one from the previous... Previous... Time? Is it the same beast? Okay, we're, but we're back to um, Emilia. Is she gonna try the second trial now? Oh yeah, behold an unthinkable present. That's what Subaru also did. Hmm. Oh, so that would be like a present in which her mother like fortuna is still alive Maybe, maybe Fortuna wasn't reflected on the mirror. <gasps> this guy. <laughs> Battle Goose. Before he became crazy. When he was still sane. <laughs> Those two should have gotten married already, honestly.
Maybe I ships those two together as well. Having a picnic with the three of them. Or would I be in the way? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's blushing. <laughs> She's just a matchmaker right now. She's like, yeah, you look so good together. You should just live together. <laughs> See, I'll even leave the rest up to you too. I think she's also aware that this is like like the, the trial says like the unthinkable present this is not reality I think she's aware this is just how life would look like if yeah if they were still alive and happy I mean Battle Goose is still alive but is she alive is Battle Goose alive still I, I forgot <laughs> At least he's he's not how he used to be, you know. He he got all crazy. And Archie, when he was still alive. Yeah, I think those hair clips are kind of proof that that is not the reality. What she's seeing right now is not of the real, the true present. Oh yeah, okay, they, they, they're clarifying it for me, you know, so it's still not clear whether Battle Goose is alive or not.
<laughs> she's mentioning everyone. And of course he's gonna end with Subaru. <laughs> Would it actually brother and sister or is it just just in more just like as friends you know like someone that you're ju just really really close to that you would call like Onichan or were they actually like blood related Because of the answer she gave? Was that a good enough answer to pass the trial? So that's what she was thinking when she was looking in the mirror. Just the fact that she doesn't like really look like Fortuna physically. Mm, all these people. It's not it's not because of the others told them, it's just because they want to themselves. Yeah, because they, they believe in Emilia, obviously. Mm, even the demi humans.
We're still 14, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the elder. <laughs> Just because of that, okay. That's cute. Just one more, the third one. And that's 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 one that Subaru didn't even do it. So this is gonna be something new, something we haven't seen before. Going back in for the third trial. Face a disaster that's yet to come. So it, it is indeed about the about the future. You know, the first trial is really about the past. The second trial was about the present. And the third one's about the future, like how maybe something like how would she, how would she face the future, if you would come across the wor worst case scenario, something like that. Interesting. Did, I wonder how they're gonna do the third trial though. But yeah, I must say, like, once again, we got so much in just one episode. We had a lot of action in the beginning. Or, like, a build-up to more action, I would say. Like, we now have the face-off between Garfield and Elsa. And we have um, Fredrika against Meili. Sveru tried to convince Betty to live for herself and choose what to do with her own life drag her outside um and yeah that and uh, and yeah then we shifted to Amelia and had the whole second trial that she that she passed yeah so yeah indeed like we we got a lot in one episode So yeah, that was episode 9 of Reserve Season 2 Part 2. You really get to feel that we're closer and closer to the end of this season. It just, everything is building towards a climax. Like uh, like I just said, we have all these setups of battles. We also have Emilia now set for the final trial. And that's gonna decide what's gonna happen to the sanctuary eventually. We have all of the villagers, even the the demi-humans. They, they're all there to witness what Emilia is doing, what the result is gonna be, and eventually then deciding what they're gonna do when the barrier is gone. So there are a lot of like big important moments coming up in the upcoming episode, which I'm looking forward to. Other than that, I don't know. It was just, uh, it was just, we we had a lot, but it still didn't feel like very very intense. I still felt like the the pacing was very slow, despite it being very packed. But then again, like these episodes are also super long, so they have more time to cover like a certain amount of content. For example, the whole second trial, the whole scenario that Emilia was witnessing of her ideal present in which Fortuna was still alive, 
Goose was still sane and well, Archie was still alive. It was fun to see that, that was very wholesome. It was a, a bit too, it was a bit too sweet for me, you know, like I felt like it almost gave me cavities. That's how sweet it was and it was a bit too much for me. I like sweet and wholesome stuff, but not when it's to the extent of me getting feeling kind of cringy about it, you know. And I also felt like they took such a long time with just that scene. So that kind of lost my my attention a little bit. But I especially like the, the first part, you know, at the mention, the conversation between Subaru and Betty. Now everything that we've seen in all these backstories and flashbacks about about Betty, you know, and her relationship with Yuzu, with Ekitna, with Roswell, it's starting to all make a, a lot more sense, you know. She's just bound to a certain contract without any purpose. So that's why Subaru's like you don't have to follow those contracts anymore. You can be rebellious and do what you want with your life. You've kept that promise for like 400 years. And where has it led you? Nowhere. You're like, you're still in the same spot. You're, she's just being held prisoner in a certain cage. And he just wants to break her free from that, you know. So that conversation I really liked. I also liked the, the bits of action we've seen between Garfield and Elsa. That's cool. Garfield's so cool. Our cool 14 year old boy who is going all out. And also the fact that he's now there fighting is also motivating Frederica to try her best and not give up and make it out of there alive. So it's cool that you can see these like little changes happening. But I would definitely like to see more in the next episode. But like I said, I felt like this episode is more like a build up towards the climax like you only have a couple of episodes left so i have a feeling that most of it is gonna reach a conclusion in those episodes so yeah that was my reaction to this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you can see my other reaction videos please check out my channel and subscribe and if you can wait to see my reaction to the next episode you can already find it on my patreon so if you're interested please go check it out you can find the link in the description box below so in any case thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye Thank you.